Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of the Lyle 12-piece Star Impact socket set. These are pretty nice, and they're actually commonly available. They're uh, at O'Reilly's and CarQuest, uh, and Lyle's been around for a long time. It's kind of hard to uh, see their name on their tools when you find them used because uh, they always print it super small. But they are really nice sockets. They've actually been around for 115 years, since 1903. Um, and out of all the tool companies, they bought a couple of companies here and there. But out of all the tool companies, uh, they really tried to keep it uh, like a real homegrown American business. So they're not publicly traded, and they're still run by members of the original family uh, 115 years later. So that's one of the reasons I would uh, try to support Lyle, just because they try to... Uh, keep it traditional. Um, their tools are pretty nice um, and that tradition kind of extends into the tools. Part of how they remain competitive is they don't always upgrade their equipment uh, as quickly as other manufacturers and these sockets would evidence that. If we take a look at one of these 3 8 one, it's you can see it has it, like a hand machine feel. You know these come as a steel billet rod and then they machine them down rather than forge them uh, just because upgrading to forging dies and forges uh, is real expensive. And when it comes to things like smaller things like these star sockets, there's not going to be very much difference. If they're using the same grade of steel, um, and Lyle does excellent heat tr treatment process. Uh, you can really rely on these, even though they're not one piece forged. And really how you tell something's one piece forged, because it's all real smooth, and anywhere on it, it's all... Um, uh, there isn't any evidence that there's been a cutting tool used on the piece. So a socket like this is completely forged. Or one like this is billet and is all machined down. They use a special cutter to cut the teeth out. Uh, it has a traditionally broached end. If we can look inside there, you can tell traditionally broached because there's all the metal is still stuck down the bottom of the socket. Versus blind broaching, like on this Harbor Freight here. If we can get an angle. Gosh almost impossible. Here we go. Like on one of these sockets where you can see that there isn't any metal shavings in the bottom. They use what's uh, known as a blind broach. Another part of the handmade feel, if we look closely here, when they broach, they drill it out uh, as close to possible as the size of the square or the hex of it, the socket, and then they broach it. And you can see part of the more handmade feels like the drill was a little bit offset from the broach. And that's actually really evident on the smaller one where uh, the brooch got totally lopsided. And you notice that when you use the socket, but it's fine. Um, it's not a big deal. And when you buy Lyle sockets, you kind of that's kind of what you're expecting. Is this something made a little more traditional? You can even see where they countersunk the drive in. You can see the little scallops in there um, from when there was chatter from the tool, which is kind of nice, you know. One other critic one criticism I would put of these is that some of these smaller ones, as you can see here, they really beveled those nicely. But that didn't happen on all this whole set. The two smallest ones here have real sharp edges on them, and that was also evident on all these larger ones. They all were just machine flat and just didn't get hit, um, get deburred, and get the corners knocked off. And that's kind of important because the way star sockets are, they actually have like a little depression. And you want to have them rounded off. So I had to take and just, it only took me a second, but you can see the little reflections there. I just had to hit the corners uh, against the grinder lightly uh, just to try to get them to seat into Star or Torx fasteners a little easier. And finally, uh, another point about these is I like the way they've made a smart selection where the smaller ones up through T30 are quarter inch and then up through T. T55 is 3 8 and then this large T60 is a half inch. So I thought that was a nice use of dry sizes and quite appropriate. Now, I reviewed these master, or excuse me, these GM Power Torque compact impact sockets. And if we compare this T30 to the Lyles, we can see that the GM Power Torques are actually quite a bit shorter than what would be considered a standard length on the Lyle, uh, which is handy because sometimes you really want the nice short one. Uh, but sometimes you need a little bit of reach since they can uh, have these, and they'll provide that additional reach. And that's part of set building, so you can have a variety of tools so it makes every job easier. 
Now, if we compare, say, the T32 to some other uh, star drive sockets, here we have a power belt, and it's a little shorter than the power belt. Let's get that in the view here. We have the GM Power Torque 38 T50, which is really short. And these are all 3 8 inch drive sockets. And then we have the Harbor Freight T50. And you can see the point is once you start building up, uh, you can have all these different links. Bring that down a little bit. And so that's kind of nice. And I find that once I have gotten used to having all these different links, depending on what I'm doing, I use the shortest socket possible that will allow me to do the job. That way it is easier to deliver the force. You know, a longer socket what wants to wobble around. you got to... Uh, hold it tighter where a short socket uh, really feels more connected to the fastener just because it's clo closer to the, the point of force or the point where the leverage is being applied. But obviously in many situations either it won't reach or it will reach but once you have it on a ratchet or something then the ratchet head won't fit. And the nice thing about also about star sockets is a lot of them are pretty cheap so for a total of uh, 50 to a hundred dollars you could have a whole sets like this where you just have all these different links and it's really uh, Kind of nice and satisfying if you're a tool collector. So that was all I had for you uh, in this video I really appreciate everybody watching. Please subscribe. Caddis Maximus out